Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Virgo. All Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Virgo in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin messages for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, all right. So there's a king of wands here, masculine fire sign, who is very unhappy, depressed, negative expectations, very, very pessimistic. You could be dealing with this person or you could be, you know, you could be this person. You could have Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in your chart. Perhaps Scorpio or Aquarius could also be important here. It just really looks like somebody is not having a good day. <laughs> Feeling a little bit powerless against some emotional current. Like this water is really strong. Like the river is really high. Okay, I'm seeing this river in the background here and it's like, I'm feeling the pressure of the water. It's high pressure, it's high tide. It is like moving fast, white water rapids, um, fast, hard moving water, powerful emotions and it's upsetting or it feels like they, they feel undermined, their confidence is being undermined by this somehow. This person is typically a very confident individual. They are good at getting things done, but yeah, they just feel like a little bit overwhelmed right now. There's the emperor though. See, here's the thing is like, that's temporary. They are very much an emperor. They are very much in control. Scorpio, okay, King of Cups, in control of their emotions. Aries, you know, this person, okay, look at this. Page of Wands, Emperor, Death, Three of Wands. They need to get control over something. They need to get control over their life, over the direction of this. There's the river in the background again. They're on the boat here. So they need to get control of their boat. They're trying to get out of something, trying to get away with something. Maybe there could have been some deception here. I feel like it's very strategic thinking, but what it's coming through as today is having to find a way to work around a problem because they don't have exactly the skills or whatever it is. They feel like their, their power, their authority has been undermined. There's the King of Swords. Yeah, the Sun and the... Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah. But they are a powerful person. But they're a very strong person. And they, they know themselves so well. And they know that they can handle this. They are very mature. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This is like masculine maturity. This is like strength and power and be, somebody's being very assertive and no nonsense, very serious, goal oriented, action oriented, logical, rational, um, decisive, perceptive. But there's a little bit of um, resistance. Yeah, it's like there's they're facing an enemy that is even stronger than them. So they're facing a very powerful enemy and they have to be strategic about the way that they do this. So somebody is undermining their opponent in order to gain an advantage. Like they need to, this is like they are stealing the enemy's weapons. He's sneaking into the camp, all right? This is the Seven of Swords. They're sneaking in to the camp while all the warriors are over here in the background at the bonfire, like, eating dinner or something around the campfire. The weapons were unattended. They were, something was left unattended, left alone. And this person's going in and stealing all the weapons because they don't have, so because they can't fight fair. They can't stand up to this opponent in a fair fight. So they're going to try to undermine their opponent, undermining their confidence. Okay, so this could be like negging, gaslighting, um, lying, 
lying, cheating, stealing, but like literally undermining someone's ability to stand up to them because they can't face them fair and they're being very unfair because they can't be because they are not strong enough to handle a one-on-one -on -one fair fight or something like that, okay? So dealing with this unfairness and, and feeling very depressed or pessimistic about it, it's like really unhappy, but they want to make changes in their life. They know something is heartbreaking. They're, this person's heartbroken. They're healing from this. They're trying to heal from this heartbreak. Something was ruined. Something that was very important to them was ruined. Could be to do with the family, the children. Yeah, look at that. The tower, the sun, the four of cups. So they're really heavily in their emotions contemplating this, but like they are a very rational person. So they want to rationalize their experience, their thoughts, their feelings. Yeah. They are, all right. Trying to find a way to work around this problem. Trying to find a way to deal with this. Much, much more, okay, hold on. Yeah, much more effectively than they've been doing somehow. There's more Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini. Right, so what does Virgo need to know about this? This person is serious about making some changes, getting control over a situation that has felt out of control or overwhelming. They have been heartbroken about something getting ruined or destroyed or it's over. It could be to do with a family, something that is over. They have to let it go. They have to make changes. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. They have to make changes. This is happening. It's out of their control. It's inevitable. It's, it's, and they don't like that. They don't like that it's out of their control because I feel like this person is used to being in control or having a sense of authority and power. They're trying to start a new life or start over, start from the beginning, start fresh. They don't wanna to have to do this at all. They really don't. I feel like this is a very reluctant person doing something or being asked to do something that they don't wanna do. Very reluctantly, but they know they have to. Yeah. This is changing whether they like it or not, and they don't like it. This is happening whether they like it or not, and they really just, yeah, they do not like it. But they are mature or something like that. They're stepping up, and they will prove themselves capable of handling this challenge. I do see that they have a sort of divine masculine presence that is definitely working in their favor at this time they are doing the right thing or at least they're trying to very much trying to do the right thing in order to make the most of a situation that is ultimately not a very good situation they know that this is going to happen they know that this is going to change they know that something is over it has to change it will change there's no stopping it there's no getting around it. And so they are trying to meet this challenge, but they can't really meet it head on. I wanted to say head on, but they feel like they can't. So they have to be sneaky about it or do some kind of a crime or something. Like whatever they're doing is not entirely above board. Like I feel like some part of them does not want to have to do it like this, but they're going to because they feel like this is what they have to do. They are like a reluctant criminal, but they're good at it or they get away with it or something. That may not resonate for everybody, but it looks like the universe is smiling down upon this person and giving them a lucky break or giving them good luck or there's something about this person that is very fortunate they have a certain kind of good fortune or privilege that's working for them that's on their side 
So even though they feel like they're up against a much stronger um, opponent or the circumstances are beyond their control. Even if it's just changes in the environment, a change in the lifestyle, the death in the tower, it's like this is an accident or something that happened. It could be a person or it could just be a set of circumstances that are beyond their control. And they hate that because they like to be in control. They like to feel powerful. But they are also very adaptable. And yeah, they're being very adaptable. They're improvising. They're overcoming this challenge somehow. They're not going to surrender. There's no surrender. There's no compromise. They're not going to stop. It's not going to stop them. They have the strength. They have the um, energy, the ability, the agility. The, the, they're very intelligent, very adaptable. They are going to make the most of this situation. They're going to make it better. They're going to heal from this. They're going to grow from this. They're going to be okay. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Like this, they, this is a very, very masculine presence though. So maybe you're a man or you're dealing with a man, but it's like this man is an emperor. He's the king. He is facing a hard road right now facing a difficult set of circumstances right now he doesn't want to have to do this but he knows what he has to do so he's going to do it and he's going to be successful he's going to make it happen he's going to rise up to the challenge he's going to step up to this it hurts something about it has to end like he has to change his mind or his behavior or something he has to let go sacrifice it's over he knows it's over he doesn't want it to be over he maybe somebody broke up with him or he has to break up with somebody or whatever this is he has to leave a job he lost a job set of circumstances changed uh, the apartment building was sold to developers and now it's going to be you know he has to leave or like you know what i mean something was lost general reading for virgo so if you like personal details we could do a personal reading you could email me for that but it looks like there's something that was lost or ruined, stolen, broken. He's heartbroken about this. It sucks, he, but he has to let it go. There's nothing he can do. It, it's happening anyway. It's outside of his, his control or your control or whoever. And he's very reluctant reluctant to have to deal with this, but he knows what he has to do. So he's going to step up. He's go, It's like, this is a very strong masculine. I'm feeling it like in my muscles. Like this person is very tough, very strong. Um, very capable of dealing with things. It's a transformative character building moment for this person. They're go it's going to show you who they really are. This is the kind of challenge that proves who somebody really is, right? It shows you who you are, shows you who you're really dealing with here. You find out who this person really is. They find out who they really are. It makes you who you are. This challenge made this person who they are somehow. It's a character building, life lesson, that sort of thing. It's transformative, that's for sure. Nothing's gonna be the same after this. Everything's changing. This is a major turning point, a major change, major development in a, a process or a plan. And it sucks, but I feel like, honestly, it could be so much worse with the sun card being here in this situation. I think it's telling us that it could be a lot worse and that the way that we approach this in our mindset is so important. Having an optimistic, confident mindset, which I see that this person, the sun in Aries, I got a lot of Aries here, totally self-confident, almost like belligerently self-confident, like absolutely 100% going to reach that finish line, going to make it happen. Like no doubt about it. This person does not doubt their ability to, to do what they need to do and get it done and make it happen and be successful. It's just a really hard moment right now. It's just a really challenging ordeal. But I think this is the kind of challenge that really, like I said, it proves your strength. It proves who you are. I feel like the strength card should be here. Well, there's justice. There's the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, you know, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is like successful. Look at this. All the kings are here. Very successful, but it's hard. This person is capable of hard work. They have the energy. They have the drive. They have the endurance. They have the discipline. 
And so I think there's a happy outcome. There's a successful outcome here with the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. And justice. So this is good. Things balancing out. This person is un unstoppable, unshaken, unshakable. They're, they are centered. Very powerful to be so centered and confident. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're going to prove it. This is good. So it's a very encouraging, positive outcome to whatever this challenge is. I see someone rising up. I see someone very balanced and centered and confident, capable of making this happen, making this move, making these changes, pushing through this ordeal, getting through it. Yeah, and it, like I said, it really shows you, well, actually, this strength card is here in the sense that Leo is here. Uh, whatever. It shows you that this person is capable of making things happen, making things change, making important choices and following through, straightening out a situation. But I feel like they're going to do it by any means necessary. Like they, yeah, they're going to overcome this problem somehow, this challenge, and they're just going to do whatever it takes to make this happen, make this right. Even if they don't want to, which I feel like they really don't. They want they don't want to have to do this, but they're going to. And that's the message today. So that's what I've got for you today, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.